Hello, boys and girls. So we are gonna continue to learn about the letter P by um, doing reading this book. Uh, and it's titled All About P. We've read lots of books um, that are about all the letters that we've learned up to this point. And um, so today we're gonna think about, hmm, what are some things that you know that start with P or the sound P? So um, let's take a look. So this, I'm gonna touch the dots as I read it. P is for pizza. Good, one more time. P is for, using the picture clue, I know that's pizza. I check the word that I don't know. P yep, pizza. This is a punctuation mark at the end called a period. Period also starts with P. Then P is for, hmm, that's a big word, but we can use our picture clue. What do you think this is a picture of? Does it start with P? Pumpkin, good. There's another period at the end. So your job, friends, on this page is page, did you hear that other P word, is to trace. And the way that you're going to trace the P is you're going to just start at the top. Where do we start our letters? At the top, top, top. So you're going to do a straight line down. You're going to pick up and come back up to the headline, curve out and back to that straight line down. And the, we come back to our straight line down just below the belt line. And then for our lowercase p, it is below the belt line. So I start at the belt line, I do a straight line down, and then I go tick, tick, tick back up that same line. And then I do a circle around back to my, um, or a belly around, some teachers might say. Um, it's back to the straight line down. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this page, p is for pumpkin. So now I've just done two of my learning targets. I can trace the letter P and I read the letter P. My next learning target that I'm going to do is to write the letter P. There are a couple places where I could continue to trace it, but I have done a couple. So I wanna show you that I do the straight line down then I come back, notice that I start all the way up at the top at the headline, and then I do uh, come out and back to that straight line down. Do you notice that I end up just a little bit below the belt line? I'm gonna try again, straight line down, pick up, and I do a curve back out and back around, out and back around out and back around. And I like to circle my best and have a reason for why I like that one. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. I'm gonna circle this one. And I think the reason why is because it looks a lot like this P, the, um, the curve out and around comes back to the straight line down just below the belt line there. And I think it's a really good P. So I'm gonna circle that. I'm gonna do some lowercase p's, a straight line down into the basement. I go below the foot line, and then I curve out and around. Notice that it all stays, this curve out and back to the straight line down, stays within the belt line and foot line, but it fills up that whole area. So you wouldn't want to do, this is not a very good one. You wouldn't wanna do it like that because it doesn't start at the belt line and come all the way down. That's how you should do it. I could erase. I just wanted to show you that sometimes I see some of my kids doing it where they don't fill up that whole space. You wanna make sure that you start at the belt line and then your curve out and back fills up that whole area. I like this one because it curves. I worked really hard at controlling my pencil, comes out and around just in the same spot that my, my example one does. Let's read the sentence on the bottom of this page. This is the sight word that we know it's I can write P. 
And that's the third learning target. Can I write it? Yes, I did just write them. All right, one of my um, second to the last things that I'm going to do is I'm going to be a letter detective. I can find P. So that's my job as a letter detective is I look for different ways of writing P's. And uh, just at a glance, I noticed that there's three P's. Um, this one, I will help you out because we, it's got some kind of fancy little lines on the bottom that your, our example doesn't. Um, so sometimes uh, different fonts that you might see just mean that the letter might look a little bit different. But as long as there's a straight line down and a curve back around and it goes into what looks like the basement below the, this one doesn't have the belt line and foot line, but you can tell it goes down below. So now my job on this back page is to come up with something that starts with P. So I'm going to draw, so I don't know if I'm gonna do that great of a job. I think about, but I do my best. I always try and do my best. So, oops, I'm gonna erase and I'm gonna start in a different place. So I'm gonna draw an oval shape. And then I'm going to draw a little curl. I'm gonna draw some legs. I'm gonna draw a circle and a nose that looks kind of like this with a couple of dots. And you guys know what that is? Because it has a curly tail, sometimes they have like a little bit of hair on their back. Maybe their legs are probably a little thicker, huh? And they have a little bit of a hoof. This is p, i, p, i. I makes the i sound g, p, i, g, pig. That's a picture of a pig. I'll draw an arrow. Maybe you could come up with something else that starts with the letter p and draw it on the back of your book and take a picture of it and send it to your teacher. I know your teacher would love to see it. I know I would. Okay, good job on your all about P where you're learning to read, trace, find, and write. And now we added a last thing, draw a picture that starts with P. Okay.